Hello, and welcome to Old Toy, New Joy, the show where I share with you my previously enjoyed toys are purchased from online sources, thrift stores, and collector shows that once belonged to someone else. Today, I'll be opening up a couple of wax packs of baseball cards, specifically Pacific Legends baseball cards from 1989 and 1990. Pacific Legends put out cards in 1988, 89, and 90 of Legends, Hall of Famers, and uh, the heroes of baseball, pretty much from the early 1900s up until the 1970s. And I remember buying a pack of these back in about 1989. I think I was on a school trip, and I was in a mall, and I saw a pack, and I was hoping to get a Babe Ruth. And I ended up with a Joe Medwick. I was sort of disappointed. I didn't know who Joe Medwick was, but I knew who Babe Ruth was, and I thought I might get something like that. I don't know what happened to those cards, but I saw these on eBay for a couple bucks each. I thought, let's try again. So cards we might be getting today may include players such as Babe Ruth, uh, Orlando Chapita, Hank Aaron, Larry Doby, Shoeless Joe Jackson, Willie Stargell, Ernie Banks, Larry Doby. Uh, I'm trying to remember if Honus Wagner or Ty Cobb were involved. I know those guys were in the 1988 set, I think. So, you know, there's a chance we'll get somebody good. These cards are not valuable. They're definitely from the junk wax era, uh, overproduced. But they're kind of neat. I like the pictures on them. Kind of cool. But again, you could buy a full set on eBay probably for less than 20 bucks. Anyways, let's have some fun and get started. First, we'll take a good look at our 1989 pack here. So this is the all new second series, the first series being the 1988 series. You got 10 cards in a pack, which is not bad at all. Pretty good graphics on the front there. Okay, here we go. I'll be careful. I don't like to tear these if I don't have to. I don't remember if he got gum in these. I don't feel any gum. Which is a good thing, because A, the gum would be bad. And B, the gum just ruins cards. Usually leaves a residue, right? So. Okay. Ned Garver. Heard of him, of course. He's a pitcher. Joel Horland. I don't know who that is. Another pitcher. John Matlack. Another pitcher. with all the pitchers. Bert Hooten, guess what? He's a pitcher. So these are fairly recent guys. Now, yes, Jim Grant is a pitcher, but I've got some Jim Grant cards from the 50s. Of course, I have a big album of African-American superstars and players who integrated baseball in the 40s and 50s and 60s which I've mentioned many times on Old Toy and Joy. You've probably seen the video. I hope you have. If not, please check it out. And Jim Grant is among those. There's the Babe Ruth. Look at that. Got what I wanted. I like that picture. Arguably the greatest to ever play the game. I think usually when they take polls on the top 100 players, he's number one. Followed by Willie Mays. Really, that's how it goes. Although, it's, you know, all around, I don't think Babe Ruth could field or anything, but because he was an amazing pitcher before he was an amazing hitter, that's why they consider him to be so great. Amongst other reasons, uh, Elmer Vallo.
Station, Davenport. All right, definitely know who Lou Boudreau is. He's a player manager. He also helped Satchel Page kind of get his feet wet in the major leagues. And Bobby Mercer. All right, let's move on to the second pack. Very different graphics this time around. Sort of classic 90s graphics. Again, 10 cards. Yellow on the back, okay. Dusty Baker. Didn't they say he invented the high five? Am I thinking of the right guy? I apologize that uh, my camera's having a tough time so kind of zooming in on things. Don Mossy, famous for being one of the funniest looking baseball players. He was actually a heck of a pitcher. Jesse Barfield. He was 80s. Tommy Aggie, he was 60s. Let's see. Mm -hmm. 60s, 70s. Aubin Roberts. Sal Bando. Lou Brock, of course, everybody knows Lou Brock. Hoyt Wilhelm. A lot of pictures. Diego Segui. Segui. I'm not familiar with him. And Steve Stone. Pitcher. Not familiar with him. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Old Toy New Joy today and allowing me to share my Pacific Legends wax packs. If you like the video, please like the video and we will keep them coming. In the meantime, I encourage you to check out my Instagram and also subscribe to Old Toy New Joy. You can get caught up on 130 plus episodes we have featuring such things as Transformers, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Buck Rogers, baseball cards, wrestling, hockey cards, Hot Wheels, wrestling figures, and Scissor Toy Whisperer saying farewell from Old Toy, New Joy.